morning. Well, there I am again. Let me just adjust this just a little bit there. Alright, so um this is not a minute man video. Just up front. I'm just gonna tell you this is about a dream I had. Alright, this is not a minute man video. It's gonna be about a dream I had. I had uh I had the urge to share this dream today. I had this dream about six, eight months ago. Alright. And uh Anyway, I had to share this because I was planning on taking a small trip here in a week. And uh, generally, I don't like to take trips anymore. Things are so volatile right now. You can call me. I don't care, but uh, I was planning on taking a trip, a day trip, here in about a week from now, maybe a little, maybe a little less than a week from now, anyway, this coming weekend, right, but uh, and I already had it all set, I already had it all set, I was going to take the trip and everything, and then... This morning, I was looking at things on the phone, you know, because you got to try to keep up with what's going on in the world a bit, right? And, uh, you know, this whole thing about World War III and nuclear and this whole, this whole thing coming together over there in the Middle East and in Europe. say that convinced me that it is not okay because I have had dreams and things like that that have come true and I've had uh, premonitions before uh, I've had things happen to me so I mean you cannot tell me that there isn't anything to that and, and if you have not had any of those things well I don't know what to tell you you know but God has given me several end time dreams in the past two, three years. I've had probably six of them or eight of them, something like that. I've had I've had a good number of them. They don't. They're not. It's not like it's every day, right? Anyway, premonitions about <clears throat> the rapture of the church coming up. watching and we need to be ready because all those people that say you will not know the day or the hour and God also says in the Bible that, but you brethren will not be caught unawares okay so Christians that are watching and preparing and, and waiting waiting and preparing for the rapture of the church to happen they're not going to be caught unawares they're going to be they're going to know what's going on. So I'm trying to also share that stuff with you. Well, anyway, let's get to this dream. This morning, I'm going to tell you what led up to this, me telling you about the dream. This morning, looking at the phone, I had this small day trip planned for this next week. And then all of a sudden, something popped up about nuclear okay nuclear popped up something about nuclear and then on the on the phone and then uh, I just lost my train of thought because that's the way I am now I mean I can't help it so uh, I saw something about nuclear and then what the heck was I gonna say well I saw something about nuclear and something else and then I remembered the dream 
Oh, I know what it was. Okay, so I saw something about nuclear on the phone. You know, because we've got these Russian subs around and all this other stuff going on. And then Matthew 24 came to mind. That they, you know, everybody's, I think it was Matthew 24. I, I can't remember now. I'll have to look it up. But everybody was partying. And as, as in the days of Noah, you know, giving and receiving in marriage. And everybody was having a good time. Everybody's acting like everything's normal, and then boom, you know, right? <laughs> I hate to say boom, but you know, there, there it is, right? And then, and then this dream, this dream that I had six, eight months ago popped back into my head. You see, when something like that happens, that's the Holy Spirit saying, hey, remember that? Remember that? Remember that night? Remember that night I, I, I gave you that dream? Well, the dream... In the dream, I was standing inside of a room. <clears throat> all of my stuff, all of, everything I owned was there. It was in that big room. It was a big room. It wasn't a little bitty room. But it was a pretty darn good sized room. It was, you know, I couldn't, it wasn't like the walls of a house or anything or a building. But it was a room and it was livable. And I don't, I didn't know what, I don't know if there were any other rooms or anything else. But all my stuff was there. Everything I owned was there. And then I was like, what is this place? In the dream, I'm asking that because it's very lucid. It's like I'm talking to you now. I was like, what is this place? And then I had an urge because I was facing this way like I'm facing you right now, right? Let's just pretend that. And then I had this urge to turn around. And I turned around. There wasn't a door in the place. No way to get out. I had no clue. But I didn't feel panicked or nothing. I felt safe. Then for some odd reason, <clears throat> I had this urge to turn around. And I went that way. And I, and I walked right through the wall. I walked right through the wall. <clears throat> it's like the wall was there. But I didn't, it's not like I could... I saw the wall as I was moving through it. I just passed on through it like a ghost, right? Like a spirit just traveling on through. And then I got to the other side. It was it was many feet thick. I don't even know how thick it was. It was pretty thick though. It was probably at least a good, you know, 50 feet thick. It was thick. Anyway, when I got when I got to the other side, I was outside. And I was outside. I came through the end of this is like a rock formation. And I came out right about here. I came out right about there in that rock formation. And that's that's me standing there. There was this ledge all around, maybe about 25, 30 foot ledge all the way around. It went around this rock formation. I don't really know what was over here. Don't know. But I got out there and the Lord told me to look around. And I, and I got out there and I went to the edge of this ledge and I looked and all I could see was desolation. And there were stubs of trees that were burnt. They were only two or three feet tall, what was left of them. Here, dotted here and there. I, I looked that way to my left. And I was looking down because it, it went down. That's why I got these arrows here. 
this ledge dropped down a couple hundred feet down to the to you know to where it was flattened out and everything was desolation I saw nothing nothing but brown dirt and stubs of trees like a nuclear explosion had gone off <clears throat> and then later later I would felt the interpretation of it. I'm, I'm not interpreting it now. I felt the interpretation later because the Lord will give you the interpretation of the dream. So, despite the fact that I'm nothing but a lowly sinner who has done some bad things in my life, everybody has. I don't know anybody that's perfect. But the Lord was trying to show me that no matter what happens, that I am safe. If I listen to Him and I do what He says, okay? If I listen to Jesus, I listen to the Holy Spirit because Jesus and the Holy Spirit are one, right? Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that's Jesus telling me through the Holy Spirit. You're safe. Just listen to me. I've got you in my hands. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. You're one of mine. That that was that was I that was the reason why I felt safe inside of this thing. I don't know what if it was really a mountain or whether it was just a, a dome of protection put placed around me I'm not worthy right but but that that's that's what it was so now I'm wondering if we don't have a if 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 if, uh, if we have if we do have a nuclear event on the horizon right and I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not trying to fear monger. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anything because I know that I have God on my side. I have that peace. I have a peace with me that I don't have to worry about anything. I got through the whole scandemic. Didn't wear a mask. Didn't have no big altercations with people. I had a few little skirmishes about things, but I'm standing my ground, right? But the Lord protects His own. So I'm trying to. I've been trying to tell you folks to seriously consider listening to Jesus. Got a few seconds left here, and then it's going to be down to a minute. So I've got about a minute and a half left. So I, I really want you to consider looking more into Christianity, not necessarily even joining a church, but crack open the Bible. And then you say, Lord, I know I haven't been a perfect person. Jesus, please forgive me for my sins of the past and any sins I have on me that I don't know about. And please fill me with the Holy Spirit and let me read your word and let me understand. And let me know what's going on in the world so that I am not, I am not blinded to, to the truth of the matter, what's going on. Because I see everything that's happening. I couldn't, I could not have seen some of the things going on in the world right now if I had the blinders on if I didn't have the Holy Spirit with me urging me not to take the injection and other things like that I don't know where I'd be probably be dead by now that's it for this one I'll see you